It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. Well, this is a special show because the two teams you're about to meet have won once previously, and today's winner moves on in our competition to the semifinals to take on University Park. A lot at stake today. Let's go over and meet the teams. First, from Fort Foot Elementary School, would you please say hello to Zora Chapman, Chase Brown, and Deleuze Parhat. And from Magnolia Elementary School, here they are. Jerry Gowana, Khalif Adisian, and he only goes by one name, Owie. <laughs> and now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we give our students 50 points just for showing up and looking as good as they do. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, we will have a team to go on and take on University Park in the semifinals. Let's make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to that red team, Chase. It looks like a group push over there. Let's see it. All right, A-OK -okay to you and Zora and Deleuze. Congratulations for making it this far. And Magnolia, how about the green teams? Khalif. It too looks just fine. Good luck to you and to Owie and to Jerry. All right, we go alphabetically here on the Science Bowl, which means F before M, so Fort Foot. And Chase, let's start the bowl. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Team scientists are working on and think, I think they've actually accomplished being able to cut an apple and have it not turn brown. That browning process is not called rusting. It is described by what O initialed word? What O initialed word for foot? What you got? Don't ring in unless you have an idea. Magnolia, what is the O initial term that means the turning brown of an apple slice? Oxidation. Oxidation, that's it, yeah. And that is what rusting is, in fact. Go green. Um, potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, if you go to the National Museum of Health and Medicine here in Washington, you can see some bizarre things like part of a foot, part of someone's face. And then they have these T-initialed masses of cells that can sometimes be cancerous. Tissue. Tissues. Not tissues, no, Fort Foot. These T-initialed masses of cells that sometimes can be cancerous, but sometimes just benign. Those are tumors, tumors. Try again green. Uh, size potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. All right, teams. Uh, a clutch of eggs that are this color contain a pigment called Billy Verdon. What color would those eggs be if they contain a pigment called Billy Verdon? Brown. Not brown. Fort Foot. What's the color? White. Green. Verdant. Verdant. That is a word that we often associate with green. Go again, green. Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Scott Kelly, famous astronaut, spent a year on the International Space Station. He came back down. His vision was all messed up. His eye had flattened. He, his vision went from 2020 to 2100, and this nerve connecting his eye to the brain became inflamed. For 25 points, 20 points, excuse me, 20, 20 points, name that nerve. I'll pass it to Ali. The optic nerve. Optic nerve, that's it, young man. Good, go, green. Uh, 
signs, I mean, Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points. Teams, you know, uh, in Harry Potter, they apparated. It was instantaneous travel. We know that that can't happen in real life because there is a universal speed limit that is 186,000 miles per hour, otherwise known as the speed of what? Magnolia? Sound? No, no, Fort Foot. 186,000 miles an hour is the speed of what? Zora. Light? Light, yeah, and you can answer it, Chase, if you want to. Speed of light is right. Yes, go green, I read. Um, can we have Zoo Parade for 20? Zoo Parade for 20 points. All right, teams. There's a story about a group of young boys, teenagers. They're on a deserted island. They start fighting with each other. They're dirty. It's filthy. And that's why William Golding wrote his book, and he called it The Lord of the What? Fort Foot, be careful. Be careful. The Lord of the What? Rings. No, not the Lord of the Rings. I thought you might say that. The Lord of the What? Flies. Flies, yes. The Lord of the Flies, a famous book. Good comeback, Magnolia. Go green. Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, the first day of winter, December 21st. That is the shortest day of the year. We call it the winter what? Solstice. Magnolia. Solstice. 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 Solstice, that is right. Tough word to say and to spell. The winter solstice, yes. The solstices and the equinoxes. Okay, go green. Let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. Teams, the... International standard for the kilogram used to be a cylinder made of two chemical elements, one with the symbol IR, iridium, and the other had the symbol PT. PT is what chemical element that is a precious metal? Magnolia. Come on, guys. Chase, have an answer for me if I have to come to you. Come on, Deleuze, let's help out here. Silver? No, no, PT. PT is not silver. PT is what precious metal, Chase? Platinum. Yeah, good answer. Platinum it is. Good. Come on um, back, Fort Foot. Can we have body systems? No. Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the word courage comes from the Latin word core, C-O-R, which means that you will know this organ because it is often called the coronary organ, Magnolia. The heart. The heart. Absolutely right. Yeah. All right. That buzzer says we've come to the midpoint of our game. Our score, Magnolia 140, Fort Foot 85. Plenty of science ball straight ahead. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Good game going on here. Both these teams, as we said at the top of the show, have won once previously, and they're hoping now to advance in our competition. Let's go over and find out about the team from Fort Foot. And Chase, tell us about your school. It's down in the southern part of the county there, and yes. your principal is Dr. Goldsmith. She's here today. And who's the wonderful coach of your team? Miss Escasinas. Yeah, absolutely right. And she has done so well getting this team organized here. And any alternates on your team, young man? Yes, we have Michelle. Yeah, and she'll be out in a few moments because Deleuze used to be your alternate, and she's back on set. Now she's here the big time. We're welcome, we welcome her to the set. And Fort Foot has a lot of extracurricular activities, and you guys, you told me, earn four out of the five stars on the state report card. Yes. So you guys are pretty proud of that, I'm sure. Yes. What do you want to do someday, Chase? I want to be a lawyer because me and my mom, we watch a lot of, like, justice shows. Yes. And when I was little, I used to, like, pretend to have cases against my um, cousins. Wow. And I will break it down because they will always fight. So you're like a, an arbitrator. You know, you're like a referee, you know, if you were able to settle some of those cases. So you actually had cases when you were a kid. I like that, Chase. Sounds like you're headed in the right direction. You're a fine young man, and you do a nice job on the show here. We're really glad to have you. And Zora, nice to have you here today. And you told me you have a number of ideas for the future. Chemist was one, and yes. tennis player, and what else were you talking to? Biologist. Biologist, yeah. How'd you get interested? Let me ask you about chemistry. How'd you get interested in chemistry? Well, um, I have a microscope at home, and me and my, my dad and I, we like to look at things under it, and we talk about different chemical reactions. Yes. And I'm sure you protect yourself. You're not mixing things without yeah. goggles and all of that. <laughs> and microscopes are great because, you know, uh, 
That's how they discovered that blood circulated. They put the tail of a goldfish underneath. You could see the blood moving through. It was kind of an eye opener. So microscopes made a big difference in the world. Deleuze, tell us your story. Welcome to the set. What do you do in your spare time? I usually sometimes draw. Sometimes draw. Okay. Uh, what do you like to draw? I usually draw some people. People, yeah. And Zora, what were you suggesting to her? To speak up. Yeah. You look up, you know, when you're here for the first time, it's like, oh boy, I'm kind of scared. And that's normal. If you weren't scared, that wouldn't be normal. But we want you to feel like you're part of the team here. And just tell us a little more about yourself. Why'd you want to do this? Um, Did your teacher ask you maybe to participate? Yeah. Um, when we were in classroom, Ms. Johnson came and asked me, Chase and Michelle, if we wanted to be in the science bowl. And I was thinking about it, and then I wanted to do it because I wanted to find out what type of things we would be doing mm -hmm. and the questions, and I wanted to kind of find out what the answers are and study more. Exactly. So you prepared that way. And yeah, for the, when you're here for the first time, sometimes you, by the time you get going, the game is over. You realize how it's doing. But you know, it takes courage to do this. So I applaud you for doing that to lose. Magnolia, nice to have you guys here. Khalif, tell us about Magnolia. Who's your principal? Our principal is Dr. Phyllis Gillens. Wonderful, wonderful principal. And your sponsor is the one and only Mr. Robert Allen. Yes. And uh, he, uh, a multi-talented man and has been with Science Bowl for many, many years. Uh, excellent, excellent sponsor. <laughs> uh, any alternates on your team? We have Tamar, Katrina, Josephine and Halima. Yes, sir. Because last time we were trying Don't to remember all those names, but your your two <laughs> colleagues there, they can help you out on that. And Khalif, tell me about um, what you want to do someday. Well, I want to be a mechanical engineer, a businessman, or a mu a musician. Or a musician. Okay. Uh, do you play a musical instrument? Yes. What do you play? I play the trombone. Trombone. Wow, you're a multi-talented young man. So you're. Uh, you're an athlete and a musician and a scholar, all three. You're doing all the right stuff. Owie, you're the man. How do you know so much science? Oh, um, I mean, when, ever since I was growing up, I used to just read science books because yeah. my dad always wanted me and my siblings to read books, so he would buy like a lot of books and then I would just read them. Wow, wow. Well, it shows. Uh, you're a very literate young man. I like your vocabulary. I can tell you're a reader and I like your enthusiasm. And this is a guy who's constantly moving over there. He's, the, for him, science ball is a contact sport almost. What do you want to do someday? Oh, I want to become a game developer. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's into what's hot now, game design and anime and things like that. And Jerry, what about you? Where are you headed someday? Well, I know I'm headed to be the chief designer of Apple Incorporation. Whoa, all right. So uh, Tim Cook and the rest of those guys can just move over because Jerry is on his way. And I like how much you enjoy this game, Jerry. Nice to have you here. Let's get back to it. 140, Magnolia, 85 for Fort Foot. Last grand history came from Khalif. Go ahead, young man. Get physical for 25. Again? Get physical Let's for get physical 25. for 25 points. All right, teams, this is a visual question. If you could look at the monitor in the studio, please. And you're looking at something called a Cartesian diver, a famous experiment where you have a little device that will sink or rise to the top depending on how you squeeze the bottle. So if it sinks, it has negative what? And if it floats, Khalif? Density? Not density, good try. Negative if it sinks, positive if it rises. What is the word that describes that force that keeps things moving up? Gravity. Buoyancy. Buoyancy. That's what we wanted to hear. Buoyancy. No points. Try again, green. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. All right. The question is as follows. You know, your red blood cells are made inside your bones, inside this spongy stuff that actually can be transplanted. What's the spongy stuff inside your bones known as? Me. Come on, Fort Foot. Pass it to Zora. Yeah. Flesh. No, not flesh. Magnolia, what's the spongy substance me. inside of bones where red blood Jerry. cells are made? Pass it to Jerry. Bone marrow? Bone marrow, that's it, good. Some people eat marrow because if you get like a soup bone, oh, that marrow is really good on the inside. 
Okay, go green. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Two-part answer. A lot of commercials on television are for medications to treat reflux, acid reflux. That involves what two parts of your body? One an organ and one a tube. Acid reflux. Give me the organ and the tube involved in acid reflux chase. Your, the tube is your esophagus and the organ is your, your heart. No, nope. good try, very good try. Magnolia, can you give me the organ and the tube involved in acid reflux? Pass it to Owie. Your stomach and your esophagus? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got the esophagus part right. And a lot of people think the heart because they think of heartburn, but it's really this acid stomach that's bubbling up. Nice try, Chase. Good comeback, Magnolia. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25, big one in that category. Two part answer. If you have a cat or a dog and you take it to the vet, and the vet treats it so it can no longer reproduce. You have done what two things to your pet? What two um, words describe when you keep them from being able to reproduce? Chase. Um, reproduction. Say it. Reproduction and... No, there are two procedures that the vet will do, and they're known by these two words. Magnolia, what you think? What about a neutered and spleen? Khalif, any idea? Pass it, to Pass it to Ali. Neutered and spleen? Say it again. Neutered and spleen? Oh, you got the neuter part right. It is spade. Spade, yeah. Good. You were in the right track. You are in the right track. All right. 85 to 180 advantage is still greens. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. All right, teams. We all know that photosynthesis means plants making food photosynthesis. But there are plankton in the sea that are plants. They're not known as photoplankton. They're known as these almost identically signed planktons. What is the prefix that means a, a small plankton plant in the ocean? Not photo, but what? Wait, wait. Homo? No. Homo, homo is human. What you got? Hydro. Um, hydro. No. Not hydro. Good try. Fort Foot, any idea? What's the prefix you want to put in front of plankton to indicate that it's a plant? It's phyto. P H Y T O. Phytoplankton, and then the animals are zooplankton. Try again, green. That was a tough question. Green things. Green oh. things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Oh, Chase, he's already jumping in there. Green things for 15 points is as follows. Wow. E. coli was a lot in the news recently because it was found on this green thing. Be specific, Mr. Chase. Romaine lettuce. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Everybody was waiting for that one. <laughs> All right. Okay, Red, okay, okay. let's go. Um, zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. All right, teams. Charlotte's Web is all about a spider. Mm hmm. What do you want to tell me? No, I accidentally he, he pressed accidentally it. He accidentally pressed it. Sorry, let me repeat for Magnolia. Just watch that trigger finger over there. That's the, that's the hazard with too many people holding it. All right, Magnolia, the question, this was in uh, Zoo Parade, was it, for 15? 15, no. What, what? Charlotte, thank you. Charlotte's Web is all about a spider, but it is also about Wilbur, Charlotte's friend, which was what kind of porcine barnyard animal? Pig. Pig. It's a pig. Yep. That's right. Good. All right. Go green. Five potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, a metrologist is someone who studies measurement. A metrologist. A meteorologist studies weather. I'll give you the points if you can spell meteorologist. Spell meteorologist. Who's going to be my speller? Jerry. Jerry. All right, Jerry, say the word for me nice and slowly. Meteorologist. Yeah. Go for it. M E T E O R O L O G I S T. You nailed it, young man. You got the points. Yes, indeed. Go again, Magnolia. Hey, Dateline Science for 25. Dateline Science for 25. Big one in that category. We were just talking about E. coli. Well, last Thanksgiving, just before we sat down to eat turkey, the government said that this S-initialed bacterium might be on the turkey we were about to eat. 
What is that S initial bacterium? Magnolia. Salmonella. Yeah, salmonella. That's why you never eat a turkey rare. Put it in that deep fryer. Go. Green, Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. You've all heard about when you wish upon a star. Well, Sesame Street recently had an episode, When You Wish Upon a Pickle. A pickle? A pickle used to be what green vegetable? Cucumber. Yeah, that's right, Chase. You take the cucumber, you mix it with some brine, some salt water, get yourself a good pickle. Love those dill pickles. Go, red. Zoop parade for 10, please. Zoop parade for 10 points. Teams, if you know the 12 days of Christmas, ornithologists love it, because on six of the 12 days of Christmas, what were the gifts? What were the gifts? Coal. Coal. No, not coal. Remember the category, Zoo Parade. On the 12 days of Christmas, ornithologists are really happy because on six of the 12 days, what were the gifts? Which ornith birds. It's something about birds. 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 That's right, Jerry. He was all over that one, yeah. All right. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. I'm not going to sing for you. Go, Red. Come on, Chase. Is this Daylight size team? for 10. Is it the red team's choice here? Yeah, green should be. So let's flip that uh, light there. And I'm sorry, Caleb, it's your advantage. Body systems for 10. Body system for 10 points. All right. This is a uh, multiple choice question for 10 points. And it is if you are hemorrhaging, are you eating too little, breathing too fast, or bleeding too much? Poor foot. Bleeding too much? Bleeding too much, hemorrhaging. Good answer, Chase, go. Um, daylight size for 10, please. Daylight for 10 points. Teams, scientists in Africa have discovered that dogs, by smelling socks that African children are wearing, can tell if they have this disease that is spread by mosquitoes. Magnolia? Malaria. Malaria is correct. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. According to the laws of physics, natural water will crystallize at this temperature on the Fahrenheit scale. Chase. Pass it to Zora. 212 degrees. On the Fahrenheit scale? No, ma'am. Magnolia, water will crystallize at what temperature on the Fahrenheit scale, Khalif? Pass it to Ali. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Say it again. 32 degrees 32 Fahrenheit. 32 degrees, absolutely, the freezing point. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Zero. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Reset our light over here, please. Turn it out. Thank you. All right, five points, green things. Question is as follows. The imaginary line on a mountain beyond which trees will not grow has what same name as what you yell when you chop down a tree. Timber. Timber. That's it. Good. Go five. Super eight for five. Super eight for five points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. A magician said, if we could mate a narwhal with a horse, the hybrid would be this fanciful creature. Unicorn. A unicorn. That's it. All right. All right. The buzzer is sounding, which means we've come to the end of this game, and it looks like Magnolia is moving on. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back. What a game we had here today. We're so proud of these young people here, and you were probably trying to keep up with them and not able to. They were that good. Our final tally today is four foot 125, Magnolia 280. Congratulations to Magnolia, Jerry, and Khalif, and Owie. And they've got their alternates back there. Say hello to Josephine and Halima and Tamar and Katrina and the wonderful Mr. Allen. We're going to see you against University Park. What a game. And Fort Foot, let's have a nice round of applause for Fort Foot. Zora and Chase and Deleuze. Boy, we loved having you guys here today. Miss Escancina, you did this for the first time. Boy, you get an A-plus from us. And Michelle, thank you for being part of this. And Dr. Goldsmith, she's the principal. She knows how important this is to her school. This is why they're a four-star school. Congratulations and congratulations to all of our players. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye-bye.